everybody, welcome back to Budget Bladesman. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of a different video today. So I'm a big fan of Taylor over at Best MEC, and um, I want to say about a year or so ago, he did a EDC video uh, for Amazon. So what you could get it for 50 bucks on Amazon. So I decided I wanted to challenge myself and see what I could come up with. So just to give you an idea, this is what my normal setup looks like. So uh, today for the knife, we have the CJRB uh, mini feldspar. Get them open. So that's the blade today. Uh, and then the wallet, and this is pretty much every day what I carry, is the Art Company uh, Boulder wallet. And I always have the Olight mini pen that you can see there. The uh, Olight i3T. And they don't make it in this pattern. I think this is like called Starry Night or what have you, but that's the flashlight I always have. And then I typically have a pry bar, and this is the uh, Gerber pry bar, uh, pry, br pry Brid X, I believe is what it's called. So it's just a little uh, pry bar, little backup utility blade. And then the keys, the carabiner. I have is a recycled firefighter lanyard. I don't remember the exact name. I have a backup Olight on here, but we're not going to count that. So this is this is what my normal setup looks like: is the wallet, flashlight, pen, knife. Can I get all that in there? Flashlight and pry bar. So I decided I wanted to see what I could come up with uh, for fifty bucks. And uh, so we'll see what we got here and see uh, what we can do. And I'll try and carry it for a couple weeks and see how I like it. So first, we're going to go with, um, and I just haven't opened any of this before. Uh, so a couple things for me, uh, for my setup, like I said, like for this. So the things that I wanted to do is I wanted them to be name brands. So yeah, I could have gone cheaper with some stuff, but I wanted some it to be companies I knew. Um and as far as the knife, which obviously is one of the most important parts, for me, I wanted it to be something not exactly obviously like this, but I wanted to have a pocket clip, uh, a thumb stud, and some sort of locking mechanism. I didn't, you know, of course you could have gone, I could have gone with something like a, a straight old timer, but I wasn't really looking for a slip joint or an old fashioned type knife. I wanted a modern folding pocket knife. So I'll kind of go over what I got um, and we'll see how that works out. So like I said, I'm, I went with name brand stuff, so it's, it's name stuff that people know the names of, obviously. Okay, so we'll get all that out of the way, and then first we'll go with the flashlight. So this is the flashlight I got, uh, this Coast G20. Um, so this is what they call an inspection light, as you can see the inspection beam there. So it is more of a, a you know, a really bright sp center spot. There's not a lot of spill on it. I have had uh, Coast flashlights in the past. I actually do have one in my backup EDC bag, but it's much smaller. But for the price uh, I was trying to get under, this is what they um, offered. They did have a smaller one that was a dollar more. But like I said, I was trying to get under 50 bucks. Um, so this is what I came up with. Next, for the lanyard uh, slash pry bar, um, this is something I've always wanted to try. I've always wanted to take a look at. I've had different ones like the Gerber Shard, but this is the, um, let me turn that around there, Gerber Mullet. So this is the carabiner, and as you can see, you can hook that on your belt uh, slash pry bar. And so the reason I mean I don't really need a multi-tool is I actually do have two jobs. Uh, one job I have all the tools I could need, uh, you know, ready, so I don't really need any tools. And the other job, the only thing I really need is a um, box opener or box cutter and something to uh, pry boxes. Sometimes you know if the, uh, there's boxes that are glued shut and sometimes you just kind of need to get them pop them open a little bit. So that's why I don't really need a multi-tool, but I need more of a pry bar. And uh, obviously this will be like a key hanger. Uh, you can see like that. So you put that on your belt and the keys will hang off of here. So we'll see how this works. So for the pens, this is a pretty standard um, as far as like EEC 
type. It's a Zebra F301. Uh, I didn't want something full size. I don't really want like a long pen. So they have the shorter ones. So that's what I went with. Uh, not really too much to say on that. Uh, so we'll try those out. And then I've, I've heard of these before, but I can understand if some people are like, uh, maybe like not necessarily a name brand, but I have seen these, you know, different EDC videos for different people. Uh, this is a travel Lambo. This is just their basic um, wallet. So it's just a basic card carrier wallet. So it obviously is very different than what I uh, usually use. So uh, the thing I do like about the art company wallet is, as you can see, you can kind of, you know, put all your tools on there. And that's what I've, I really like about this is not having so much stuff hanging from my pocket. So, you know, you can have your multi-tool, your flashlight, your pen. So it's going to be kind of an adjustment going back to something that's just a real uh, thin card carrier. I used to carry the Recycled Firefighter uh, Sergeant, which I got in a package deal with the uh, lanyard here. Um, but I've just moved on to the art company uh, boulder here, which I really do like. Like I said, one of that, you know, has a couple spots in the back where you can have your um, ID. And what I keep back here is just my ID and my debit card, and it has an inside slot. Uh, you can put some cash. I actually have a coin in there right now. Let's see if I can get out the coin. If it cooperates here. I just have a, not necessarily a challenge coin, but this is a old... Um, one cent and 18, I think it's uh, 36 or 26 penny. I don't remember exactly the date. Let's see if I can kind of get that's a little hard to see, but I think it's, but this was something that my grandfather collected coins. And so this is one of the ones that's not really worth anything other than sentimental value, obviously, because the, the hole drilled in there at the top. And then it has room for more cards and. So I just have the rest of the cards that I don't use as often and right there on the inside. So we'll put that back. So obviously I'm not counting the coin as part of like the EEC. It's just something extra I have in there. So like I said, it's going to be a little bit challenge going back to just a, a card carrier. So it's a little different. And then lastly, so the knife, it was a little more difficult to find a knife. Um, this was the cheapest knife I could find as far as like a, a quote unquote name brand. I know I could have went with something like a Gonzo, but I'm not really super pumped about that. I mean, I didn't know they have copies of the Spyderco Delica, but I mean, that's as far as I'm concerned, that's kind of, um, I don't know. I really wouldn't want to carry something that's a copy. So this was the, I think it's the Bowser. Yeah, it's the Bowser. So this is just, you know, one of those um, really cheap kind of Kershaw's that they come out with and they have like a million models. It's just a made in China. You know, um, cheap liner lock. Let's see there. There we go. So it's just, you know, nothing special. Uh, it is, and you can see it's the lock up on there is pretty. If we can really get in there, it's about 50%, which is kind of <laughs> a lot for a lock up. But, you know, this is like cheap, just one of those cheap made in China knives that they make like a million different models of. Um, so there are some obvious sacrifices. Obviously it's, uh, tipped down, which not, I'm not a huge fan of. It's weird. It has a deep right loop over pocket clip, but it's not all the way to the top. So you're still going to have that much of the knife sticking out, uh, which is a little unusual, but it is what it is. So, and I think the steel is eight CR 13 has a lanyard clip, uh, or sorry, lan lanyard hole, I should say. So nothing really special about this, but like I said, uh, it is Kershaw, so, and the fit and finish does seem uh, to be pretty good for the most part. The centering, pretty well centered. I said, uh, it is on nylon washers, you can kind of see right there. So nothing really special about this knife, but it was just happened to be kind of the cheapest of what I could find as far as um, name brands. I mean, I could have went with a Gerber paraframe, but again, I was looking for uh, something that was a thumb stud, um, even though those are line locks, but you know, basically with those paraframes, you basically have to come out and you have to like that because they just have a nail nick, uh, on the cheapest one, on um, the one that was a little bit more than this, they did have a thumb stud but on the cheapest paraframe. I think it's the paraframe mini. It just had a nail nick. So this was the cheapest knife that I can find that kind of fit all the parameters of what I was looking for. 
So we'll kind of see if we can get everything squeezed in side by side so we can see what we're looking at here. Give me just a second here. So first we'll just put the my normal EDC over here to one side so you can kind of see them side by side. So get this out of the way. So we'll put this back on. And let me out here real quick. Okay, so this is my typical setup. Yeah. You know. There we go. So that's my normal setup. And we'll kind of get the budget one out here. And I don't know if it's going to get all exactly on camera, but we'll kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Well, I will say, this is the first time I just used the, this guy to open the package for post flashlight and I will say at least it does it is pretty sharp so we'll give it that so it does come out of the box sharp so that's a good start at least so let's see if we can kind of get everything together there that's the flashlight actually we're gonna have to use it one more time to get the pens open see we just used it you can see there get the pens out Pin. And then we got our pry bar slash uh, key holder. We'll put the, actually the wallet on top of everything. So, and like I said, uh, I believe before taxes it came out to forty five thirty six, um, but where I have taxes, yeah, they're kind of high, so. It did come out to just, I think it was 49.30 something. So it was just, I mean, just barely under uh, 50 bucks. So this is what I'm going to be carrying for the next two weeks. This is my typical carry. Uh, and if you had to add it up real quick, uh, the wallet is 46. The Pry Bread X is 20. Uh, the Olight, the typical i3T is like 20 bucks. So that's 40, 80. And then the pen is like, I think 15 bucks, so that's 90. And then the pen, or the uh, knife, I should say, varies from pretty much every day. As you guys know, I'm a reviewer, obviously, so I have a bunch of different knives that I'm always trying out. And I honestly do not remember what the price of the actual line, uh, lanyard from Recycled Firefighter is because I got it, like I said, in a package deal. But my typical carry is over, you know, over a hundred dollars and this is coming in for half the price so i'm going to try this out for the next couple weeks and we'll see how it goes and then in a couple weeks we'll report back and we'll see how i liked it but i think for the most part everything's pretty quality um there's nothing really like terrible in here so i think it's going to be at work out all right so we'll uh, check back in with you guys in a couple weeks and we'll see how things go thanks for coming by bye